the topic what we are going to discuss is error what is error if according to cumin if the person is doing something indifferent right that is what error the same way even for instrument also if the instrument is not showing correct value then it is called it as an error so error which is nothing but difference between true value of the size being measured and the value found by measurement that is what error we used to call so the error there are so many differences that is measured value minus true value what are the different types of errors we have so the errors are classifying like environmental error observational error operational error so these things are grouping into various factors the first classification of error is gross error or cumin error so because of cumin there will be a possibility of operational error as well as personal error the second one is called systematic error the systematic error is only because of the instrument as well as the environmental factor the third one is nothing but random error so what is operational error what is the operation because we people are used to have as an instrument maybe like you are having a flow meter or you are having thermometer or is you are having pressure cuts so what we supposed to do if we do not correctly properly installed or properly handle the particular meter then automatically there will be an error for example if the flow meter will reading inaccurately how it is so if you are not placed after the valve or a bend then you will not get a proper reading the same way if the thermometer is not installed properly then it will shows a wrong error then pressure gauge pressure gauge if you are not exposed properly then it will not show a correct value so this is what actually call it as an operational error so how this cumin error may happen the cumin error is because of the mistake of a person while he is reading or recording or calculating the measurement for an example like if i am reading 31.c c c instead of 21.5 the other person is reading instead of 32 he is reading 30 so that is all because of your cumin i so that error the people used to call it as an parallax error that is because of the perception of the cumin i so while he is reading or he is recording these errors are because of the cumin being and one more thing is it is also because of the lack of experience are because of not properly he is reading that is the main causes of cumin error so this can be avoided by either the person has to stand a particular location or if a instrument should be properly uh, like maintained with a glass then these error may reduce so observational error the observation which is nothing but from the word you can interpret because of wrong observation so that error is also called as an parallax so the parallax error which is nothing but while you are reading the instrument you are supposed to stand in front of the particular instrument if you are sitting and looking then there will be an problem that is one cause the another cause is because of the tendency to read high or low reading that is if you are not at all uh, uh, reading correctly if you are doing like some lethargic point of view or the unit conversion if you are not doing a incorrect conversation then conversion then it is called or else it is because of the wrong scale reading that is the another way of observational error the next one is called the instrumental instrumental is purely based on the structure of the instrument what you are doing so the structure of instrument which is nothing but it is due to construction calibration or the operation of the measuring instrument you are doing some instrument and you are calculating the value but the instrument inside if the spring is not proper 
then what will happen it will show an error so that is one way of instrumental error so pmmc instrument you all know pmmc which is nothing but permanent magnet moving coil instrument the instrument consists of a spring the spring is connected with your pointer and the pointer is moving over the scale so if the spring is weak what will happen your pointer will not show the correct reading that is one way of instrumental error so just to minimizing such type of error you have to recalibrate the instrument okay so that is the way of instrumental error may cause the next one is called as a translation what is the meaning of translation if the instrument may not sense or translate the measured effect with complete fidelity what does it mean fidelity if the value the output is not showing according to the input then there will be a problem of fidelity what is fidelity fidelity it is a dynamic characteristics of an instrument so this error can reduced by calibration or by monitoring the signal at once or else you have to going on calibrate a particular instrument that is what happening so this error is called it as a translation and signal transmission error the next one is called as an environmental error we all know environmental right environmental factor means what it is because of error the because of uh, dust particle or moisture effect or because of uh, like if the instrument is not at all properly used for a long time then there will be an in nature of rust particle right so this is all because of the environmental nature so only because of that because it show instead of showing 200 degree centigrade maybe it's like showing some 199.9 or else the mercury level 760 instead of it shows some 759 point something so that is all because of the environmental factor so this could be avoided so these errors are caused because of the ambient condition or the temperature parameter or the creep in the instrument so this could be also avoided so these environmental error characters are only because of the external factors so it includes temperature pressure humidity or else it is due to external magnetic field so how we can reduce this so the first thing is either you can try to maintain the temperature and the humidity that is only because of the proper maintenance then the next one is it could be avoided by you should be aware of external magnetic or electrostatic field around the instrument these are the two factor we can able to avoid these type of errors next one is called random error the another name of random error is residue error residue error or random error it is only because of unaware of the instrument because whatever you people used to do when you are entering into the lab we used to have a tendency to switch on or off or what we used to do we are keep on adjusting the screw of a particular instrument but we are not supposed to do like but we are used to do so that is without knowing a instrument we are doing such uh, in uh, activities so these are all because of the unaware of instrument so that is what call it as a random or residual error so these errors can be reduced only the user should know how to operate the instrument so it he or uh, she should have well designed experiments likewise you can able to reduce so the reading can be shown by hand tachometer would vary with the pressure with which it pressed against the shaft or else it can be designed experiments that is the main reason we can able to avoid these type of errors so some of these reasons of appearance of these errors are known but some errors we couldn't able to understand that is also possible while you are calculating the instrument or the reading of a particular instrument we don't know why these errors are causes 
so that is what random error we used to call so how these errors are happening what are the different sources of error the first two sources mainly because of the noise and the second source is because of the design so if the design property is not proper the third one is the response that is nothing but the lag between the application of input and the output signal that is the response time we used to call and the next one is called it is an environmental effect environmental effect is because of the temperature linkage electrical resistance humidity pressure then the last one is the errors are because of interpretation of the human interpretation which is also called it is an observation so while you are interpreting the result because of the recording or because of the reading these errors are may cause so these are all the errors will bring it into a poor maintenance of the system okay see so these are all some of the different sources of errors while you are going to calculate a particular instrument so that is the another way of error causing a particular instruments right so these are all the classification of errors how we can overcome how it could be done and what are all the types of errors causing that is what the discussion what we have today class okay thank you